Huh, it wasn't my fault this time. Yay, there we go. All right, so beautiful Savior, Vancouver, Washington. I'm Pastor Jean. Use the pronouns she, her, hers. For tonight, um, before we enter the, the formal service, we're going to hear Psalm 31. I don't know if it's um, a true thing or not, but I saw on Facebook that the chief rabbi had asked um, people around the world to read Psalm 31, and so that seemed something we could do. So we will hear that first and then enter our time of regular worship. Psalm 31. In you, O Lord, I seek refuge. Do not let me ever be put to shame. In your righteousness, deliver me. Incline your ear to me. Rescue me speedily. Be a rock of refuge for me, a strong fortress to save me. You are indeed my rock and my fortress. For your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Take me out of the net that is hidden for me, for you are my refuge. Into your hand I commit my spirit. You have redeemed me, O Lord, faithful God. You hate those who pay regard to worthless idols, but I trust in the Lord. I will exult and rejoice in your steadfast love because you have seen my affliction. You have taken heed of my, advers of my adversities and have not delivered me into the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in a broad place. Be gracious to me, O Lord, for I am in distress. My eye wastes away from grief, my soul and my body also. For my life is spent with sorrow and my years with sighing. My strength fails because of my misery and my bones waste away. I am the scorn of all my adversaries a horror to my neighbors, an object of dread to my acquaintances. Those who see me in the street flee from me. I have passed out of mind like one who is dead. I have become like a broken vessel. For I hear the whispering of many, terror all around, as they scheme together against me, as they plot to take my life. But I trust in you, O Lord. I say, you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemies and persecutors. Let your face shine upon your servant. Save me in your steadfast love. Do not let me be put to shame, O Lord, for I call on you. Let the wicked be put to shame. Let them go dumbfounded to Sheol. Let the lying lips be stilled that speak insolently against the righteous with pride and contempt. Oh, how abundant is your goodness that you have laid up for those who fear you and accomplished for those who take refuge in you in the sight of everyone. In the shelter of your presence, you hide them from human plots. You hold them safe under your shelter from contentious tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has wondrously shown his steadfast love to me. When I was beset as a city under siege, I had said in my alarm, I am driven far from your sight. But you heard my supplications when I cried out to you for help. Love the Lord, all you his saints. 
The Lord preserves the faithful, but abundantly repays the one who acts haughtily. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait for the Lord. Most holy and gracious God, we, we pray that your presence is felt strongly in those who are being attacked in this war that is targeting civilians, hitting hospitals, breaking hearts. Give courage to those who fight for their homes and for one another and help them know that they are not forgotten by people around the world. Help us to know how it is we might respond. In Jesus' name, amen. So with the service um, that we're going to be having tonight, but it's, it's gonna be a theme throughout the Wednesdays, we're going to talk about different parts of the body that can be used in spiritual practice. And so tonight, the focus is the mouth. But each week, we're going to start with a prayer for openness that involves our bodies. And so if you just put your papers aside for a moment, I will read um, a direction and then if you say with me, and at first you'll have to um, think it through more, I'll, I'll say it and you can repeat. Open my mind to remember your presence. Open my mouth to speak your wisdom. So I'll name all of those so you'll have to answer them back. I was thinking they were all the same. Okay. We gather in the divine name as beloved children of God. Remember the Holy One is with you. Bring to mind this loving presence within you and around you, between us, as we pray the following. Touch your fingertips to your forehead, saying, Open my mind to remember your presence. Touch your fingertips to your mouth, saying, Open my mouth to speak your wisdom. Take your fingertips to your heart, saying, Open my heart to extend your love. Open my heart to extend your love. Hold both hands out with the palms up, saying, Open my hands to serve you generously. Open my hands to serve you generously. Hold your arms wide and say, Open my whole being to you. Open my whole being to you. And then sitting, make a, a bow to the loving presence within you.
speech reflect your light. Mighty God of all creation, gentle Christ who lights the way, loving spirit of salvation, lead us on to endless day. May God be with you. Blessed are you, creator of the universe, from old you have led your people by night and day. May the light of your Christ make our darkness bright, for your word and your presence are the light of our pathways, and you Is Psalm 19. The heavens are telling the glory of the Lord and the firmament proclaims God's handiwork. Day to day pours forth speech and night to night declares knowledge. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The decrees of the Lord are sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is clear, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is pure, enduring forever. The ordinances of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired than are they than gold. Much, even more than much fine gold, sweeter also than honey, and the drippings of the honeycomb let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable to you, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. As we are singing in a moment, um, and if you don't know it, you can join in on the refrain. I will be handing out with my partner um, some sticks of honey to hold on to for a little while. But thinking about the word of God being sweeter than honeycomb. These honey sticks are much neater.
answered me from all my troubles I was set free taste and see taste and see the goodness of the Lord oh taste and see taste and see the goodness of the Lord of the Lord worship the This will be group one. This will be group two. Let my prayer rise up like incense before you, the lifting up of my hand as an offering to you. Oh God, I call to you. Come to me. May our prayers come before you, O God, as incense, and may your presence surround and fill us, so that in union with all creation, we might sign your promise and your love in our lives. Amen. Amen. high and lofty, and the hem of his robe filled the temple. The pivots on the thresholds shook at the voices of those who called, and the house filled with smoke. And I said, woe is me, I am lost, for I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among the people of unclean lips. Yet my eyes have seen the King, the Lord of hosts. Then one of the seraphs flew to me, holding a live coal that had been taken 
from the altar with a pair of tongs. The seraph touched my mouth with it and said, now that this has touched your lips, your guilt has departed and your sin is blotted out. Then I heard the voice of the Lord saying, whom shall I send and who will go for us? And I said, here am I, send me. All right, so if you don't have one of the books already, we'll get one to you. But this is a time when you are invited, just a second, I see what went wrong, whoops. Um, when you are invited at home or here to reflect a little bit. Um, the passage tonight was about um, being free to be able to say what it is God wants you to say. And, and to, God takes away all the excuses. But instead of asking you to stand up and give testimony, um, even though it's not using your mouth, uh, I thought it would be of interest to reflect and draw pictures or write words in response to the prompts. What is it about God's word or a particular scripture that has been most sweet to you? And to help you think about the sweetness of the word, you have your honey, you can hold it, you can taste it. Um, you can save this to use in quiet um, contemplation sometime during the week as well. Or what will it take for me to speak of this with someone? What this, the place of scripture in your life? To respond as Isaiah did, here I am, send me. When the Lord says, whom shall I send and who will go for us? So you're gonna have five minutes, it sounds long, but just write as much. Um, if you think, oh, I've written it all, just kind of write out of yourself whatever thoughts are there. But the focusing thoughts are about scripture and about God. Does anyone else need a book? Here's.
All right, the timer went off. It must be in my headset somewhere. Um, now turn to someone else. It can be a family member. It can be someone else here. And just share a, a brief, um, what are your thoughts? What did you think of? Where is your mind at this point with regard to the sweetness of God's word in your mouth? And it'll be about, we're just going to do two minutes, so each has about a minute. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. An angel went from God to a town called Nazareth, to a woman whose name was Mary. The angel said to her, Rejoice, O highly favored. For God is with you. You shall bear a child, and his name shall be Jesus, the chosen one of God most high. And Mary said, I am the servant of my God. I live to do.
Great and merciful God, source and ground of all goodness and life, give to your people the peace that passes all understanding and the will to live your gospel of mercy and justice through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. God, remember us in your love and teach us to pray. Creator in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as in heaven. Give us our day, our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from a time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. Let us bless our God. 